personal relationship I have enjoyed with the embassy of the Republic of China in Sakra. I wish to personally express my sincere gratitude to the embassy for the support which has been given the Lodina Foundation, formerly AFRA, over the years. I especially know the donation and the scholarship given to my foundation for masters as well as undergraduate studies in China. And I say thank you for your continual support. And I hope our partnership grows from strength to strength. Your Excellency, Ghana was one of the first Sub Saharan African countries to establish diplomatic relations with China in 1960. Over 50 years, Ghana and China have developed a rather strong friendship and worked closely for common goals on the international scene. In our period of economic, social, cultural, and social development, in international affairs, China and Ghana have collaborated closely to promoting peace and development in Africa and the whole world at large. Ghana and China continue to speak with one world on international matters. The friendship between Ghana and China has endured over the over five decades. Indeed, the commitment and cooperation of the two countries have ensured that the remarkable friendship between the two countries is strengthening further. China prides itself in identifying with the developing world, and there is a lot the two countries can learn from each other. While Ghanaians are committed to diversifying our economy, and increasing investment. China is also devoted to expanding investment and building a well of society for its citizens. It is also important to note that under the framework of the China African Cooperation Forum, Ghana has made major achievements in different areas of bilateral cooperation. Ghana has benefited from various forms of financial and technical assistance from the Chinese government including the well-known CDD loan facility. Since the establishment of diplomatic ties, China and Ghana have worked closely together for the mutual benefit and prosperity of our people. In the area of human resource development, the Chinese government grants more scholarship training courses to Ghana to study in China. Since 1984, the Chinese government has given the Ghana government more than 200 postgraduate scholarships through the scholarship secretariat. Scholarships are also offered to staff of other organizations and institutions across the country to be trained in China every year. The study of Chinese language and culture by Ghana is occasioned by long history of friendship, cooperation, and partnership between the people of our two countries, not only at the government level, but also in the world of corporate and private businesses that involve interaction between us. Your Excellency, let me take this opportunity to advise the Ghanaian graduates from China and those preparing to go for further study. As Ghanaian, put the knowledge you acquire through your studies in China to help the economic development of the country. Use productively the work ethic and diligence of the Chinese people. You learn to enhance your economic well-being as well as the prosperity of all Ghanaians. To the Ghanaian students going to study in China, you are Ghanaian ambassadors in China, and it is your duty to portray your country positively to the outside world. You must take your studies seriously, respect the laws and culture, and learn their national spirit and the great unity of the Chinese people. Let your say in China create a platform for forging an even closer relationship between Ghana and China. I thank you all and may God bless us.